When it comes to the holidays, we here on the Cape like to think that we put the C in season's greetings. That's what this episode is all about. Hello everyone, it's Jenny Sparrow with WeNeedAVacation.com. Welcome to Escape TV, where every episode we bring you back to the Cape and Islands. As I mentioned earlier, we're talking about the holidays. And what better way to get things started than by lighting it up with our own Becky Fisher. Lights, lights, and plenty of things to do. That might just be the best way to describe the holidays on the Cape and Islands. From old fashioned handmade candy canes to the annual lighting of the Pilgrim Monument in Provincetown, the Cape and the Islands might just be the perfect spot for families to celebrate. Personally, one of my favorite days leading up to Christmas is the tree lighting ceremony at Drummer Boy Park. The lighting of the tree and nearby windmill kicks off the Brewster for the Holidays weekend. The event includes tasty treats, goodie bags for kids, a toy drive run by the PTO, luminaries, holiday music, and a visit from Santa, who arrives on a fire truck. <laughs> Another treasured holiday family tradition is Gardens Aglow at the Heritage Museum and Gardens. The grounds are transformed with more than 12 miles of holiday lights. When Jenny ventured there a few weeks ago, it was the night of the super moon. That allowed for an even more spectacular backdrop. There's no shortage of events on the islands either. Just ask one of our homeowners on the vineyard. Christmas time is my favorite time because they just have the old-fashioned New England Christmases. They have the Edgartown Parade with Santa Claus coming up at the end of it, and they, everybody decorates their bikes and their everything for the Christmas Parade. And it's just a day of the lighting, house lighting, and even Santa Claus comes on the ferry for the kindergartners, and they take the kindergarten kids down to the ferry boat, and he comes waving from on the top of the, the uh, <laughs> The ferry boat comes in. It's a lot of fun. Between the events, the scenery, and the joy in the air, the Cape and Islands are nothing short of magical when it comes to celebrating the holidays. Great stuff as always, Becky. Now you can come down to any event for just the day, but why not stick around for a little longer? Tyler can tell you how you can do just that. Let's face it, there are some gifts that just don't fit under the tree but that doesn't make it any less special or desirable. In fact, you could easily make the argument that a vacation might just be the best gift ever. <laughs> well, maybe not as cool as that, but you get the point. We've always noticed on our site that traffic from vacationers skyrockets right around the new year. But while you could wait a week with the rest of the crowds, your wallet might actually like it better if you looked now. That's because some homeowners on our site are actually offering up deals for booking early. Now you do have to do a little searching, but by even starting the process early, you're more likely to find the exact home that everyone will love. And who knows, you might even get a few moments like this, once at Christmas time, and again, when you arrive for your vacation. Just like every episode, we like to end with a quote from you. Here's what someone had to say about spending the holidays on the Cape and Islands. Christine says, We love the solitude and serenity that envelops the Cape around Christmas when we spend time at our house since it is rented all summer. It is quietly magical and we unplug from life for a week. If someone can find a rental around Christmas, it's a wonderful time to visit the Cape and there are plenty of good restaurants open all year. That'll do it for today's episode. Thank you for tuning in. From all of us at WeNeedAVacation.com, happy holidays. Mm -hmm.